What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more RimWorld. As I recall, we had some people running down here. Gonna go pick up some helmets. Alright. Now, you two... Head up here. I got most everybody in position. Looks like Lobster's taking up that new side position. Hopefully that'll work out. Again, we got a, a little bit of a John up there. Should make for a good time. Durham. Now, where are they coming from? Excuse me as I have a cough here. Okay, sorry, I'm all better. Looks like they're primarily all coming from the left side. So, both of you have charge rifles. So, I'm going to use the better shot. Eight, five. Cal, I want you back here. In the hopes that, you know, that'll be a good enough position. Toll. Yeah, we already have a little bit right here with Andrea. What are we going to do with Toll? I don't know. I don't want to put us in a position where, again, we could shoot one of our guys. That's not ideal. Maybe right there. Put Toll up there. <clears throat> and Cal, being the better shot, hopefully is able to uh, sneak around, take some shots down that way. Hopefully. I could just put him up here, honestly, I could, but... We're gonna test out our new defensive structures. On this rainy afternoon. Alright, here we go. Shots fired. I'm waiting for that minigun to go off. I don't think it has yet. Anyone come on the side? Roland, he'll probably just run run away before he's able to get anything done. But it looks like the way we've staggered this, I'm pausing right now to point this out, the way we've staggered this has worked really well. We have a whole bunch of people over here that have, you know, basically machine guns, submachine guns, really rapid fire, lots of bullets, all up here and a little bit down here. So there's this crossfire in here, whereas if you look... No damage possible. No damage possible. There's this beautiful crossfire where both sides are perfectly safe. But this is just such a kill zone. As they march in, they get shot from both sides. And when they bunch up like this, like these three right here, they get, all of them, just get torn up. Especially when the minigun goes off. Minigun takes time to warm up, but as soon as it goes off, it tears through. Now we also have two people right up front, rapid fire, immediately firing at whoever comes through. As well as the snipers locking on and preparing to take their, sh their pot shots. And then as they get further and further, as the, the front line guys die, so you know, this guy died, and you know, some of these guys died, and then this guy got really far, but as they get further and further, they start coming across people like Anna, Durham, Kai, who are sitting back here, with the shorter range weapons, uh, well not Anna, Anna has a sniper rifle, but Durham and Kai, who are sitting back with shorter range weapons, who are looking to kill whoever makes it a little bit deeper. Same with Durham. Now Durham could shoot at the, the very beginning, but uh, that's going to go to Engo and Doug, as they can shoot, they can start aiming and shoot, but while this guy starts to aim, these guys are already shooting and killing. So as they get deeper in, they just keep getting shot by different layers of attackers. So he's actually going to try and make it in, huh? Hello, travelers. He's going to go for it. Well, Toon, fall back. Anna, fall back. Doug, go there. Ingo. Go there, Kuro. Go there. Should be fine, as is. Just had to rearrange a little bit. 
And this guy should not stand any sort of a chance, like not even a remote chance. And right there with the tree, the marsh, it's really hard to get through. He gets in and dead. So, works out well. But an undraft, y'all are free to go. Except for Dominic, you need to be... Oh, that guy actually... Eh, whatever. I'm not worried about it. Strip all the people. Strip the people. I know you want to cremate them, and I'm happy you want to cremate them, but first we got to strip them down. Free up their various weapons and, and whatnot. Dominic, they're still... Gerald needs to be stripped. They have their Molotov cocktails. Simple meals. Gun. Froggy. Why don't you strip Roland? Alright. Everything's stripped. Ready to go. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out for you guys. The power armor helmet is actually really good. I think military is the worst, and then Kevlar, and then power armor. Do you have a Turk? Is that what I'm seeing? You have a freaking Turk. Put on that power helmet. The power armor helmet. You need that. And actually, instead of a heavy SMG, you should be using... Ooh, a good charge rifle. Handy. How about this one? Shoddy. Normal. Before everything gets taken away. Normal. Great, you got a good charge rifle. That'll be good for you. Now you have a nice little helmet. <clears throat> so. Anywho. Oh, uh, who needs a, a new vest? You need a new vest. It's a pretty bad vest. Uh, there you go. Upgrade your awful vest to a better awful vest. Ah, yes. You definitely need a vest. Wear that 69% vest. What else do you have? 28. You got that's done. 69. 32. Go handle that. Vests are looking good. Yeah. Alright. Vests are looking great. So anyone that had any issues with vests, that problem is now resolved. No more issues with vests. Alright, yeah, cremate a few more bodies, and then we'll be good. Now we just need to sell things. Ah, yes, and uh, we were... We were tearing this down, as I recall. Go ahead and build that. Build that. And build that. And we have all of that slated for mining. And that... Let's turn that offline. <laughs> it's like, hang on, that's outside in the rain, it's an electric device... Let's turn that off. Let's just be safe here and turn that off. Hang on, you need to... Whoop. Hall steel, please. Thank you. Hello? Hugs Hill, welcome! Doesn't look like we have anyone from anywhere else, so... Oh, wait. Oh, that guy died. Okay. Jer Bear, chatting with Hawk. Well, it's just a brawler. Whatever. Whatever. Not worried about it. Alright. Go strip that dude. You vomited everywhere. Who are you? Got a peg leg. Urgently hungry. Very tired. Volatile. Trigger happy. Yeah, you're gonna go. But before you go, we're gonna strip you. And then we're gonna release you. Get him out of there. Whoop. Nope. 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 Get him out of there. Well, I guess he can just have the tribal wear. That's actually not an issue at all. Bye. Bear Bear. Strip him. Haul that. What's that? Cloth Turk. We'll haul that away too. He gets no amenities. No amenities at all. No empty place to put the Turk. And we have nobody here to sell? Okay. Nothing to sell. 
All right, well, we can wait. You know what I'd like to see? Durham build that wall. Good job, Durham. Good job. All right, standstone wall. We're just going about our business, filling that stuff in. Of Tadashi, and we want him to be released. He's starving, but there's food in his room. Addy is also starving. Prioritize wardening Addy, please. <clears throat> I don't want all of my prisoners to die in custody. That wouldn't be good. Okay, now can you? Can't do anything to him. All right. There you go. Yeah, warden him. Get rid of him. Kick him out. Thank you. Haul him out of here. Get out of here. Hadashi. Get your butt out of here. No one wants you here. Ah, good. Finish up that wall when you guys get the opportunity. Much appreciated. Uh, what's that? Every colonist with male gender winces in pain. Oh, great. We have a lot of males, but we have a lot of females, so we're okay. Imagine you're unhappy. <clears throat> On edge. Naked. Psychic drone. Wow. Medium. Minus 15. Ouch. Glad we got that taken care of. Okay. Turn that off. Or not turn it off, but just get rid of it completely, please. Call that as well when you get the opportunity. I want Doug. <laughs> Wait, did he just die? I think he just died. No, 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 there's Tadashi. Okay. Tadashi's okay. He apparently found food somewhere. Doug, if you'd be so kind to haul that out of there. So we don't leave that behind. And then... Allow us to... Build another one of these. Crematoriums. And a standing lamp, right there. The three crematoriums, hopefully, getting people all cremated in a reasonable amount of time. And a lamp, so they don't have to do it in peace. Or they don't have to do it in uh, darkness. Not too much darkness. Nice and spacious, too. So, cramped penalty is gone. So we're getting some steel back. We are reclaiming our steel. I still maintain the plasteel is the best to use for walls, but the sandstone's treating us pretty well. I gotta say, I'm happy about that. We'll deconstruct those two walls and turn them into probably plasteel. Commissar. Binging away. Alright, whatever. <clears throat> whatever. Hoots your toot. Or toots your hoot. Whatever you want to call it. We got. Iguana Skin Duster. Interesting. That is very interesting. An Iguana Skin Duster. Huh. Oh good, that is finished. Build a plasteel wall right there. Just finish that off. <clears throat> kind of assuming we're going to need a little bit extra to make sure that stays safe. Bear Bear failed to recruit. That's okay. You know, I'm not worried about it. Don't fret. I need to figure out how to... I want to attract merchants. <laughs> I want to attract merchants. Like, for example, in the game Banished... Uh, by the way, I'm going to make a roof over this little area right here. In the game Banished... If you build with uh, with people and you trade with people, then they attract more people. Pretty straightforward. So I kind of want to have that exact same thing in this. Like, you know, I trade with you guys a lot and I give you all sorts of business. Maybe you want to come by and see what business you can get if it's a little bit more. 
Well, I guess he's doing all of it. All right. So if I decide I want to deconstruct that, and obviously the person will be free upon doing so, Okay, so now this has a roof. Okay, build that, please. Just make sure. That's why that's locked. See the temperature? It is going up. Okay. That is definitely indoors. Deconstruct the walls, but not the power conduit. It's beautiful. <clears throat> and when that's deconstructed, we can unlock the door and let Durham out. And let all the prisoners have food again. Alright. Unlocked. Have fun, Durham. You may escape if you so choose. Just to have a little bit more cover over here. Again, just helping people get out of the rain. Get out of the sun and whatnot. Okay, so there's Blue. He's a brawler. So, can I not... Okay. So I guess I can't cremate him. And we just dug up a skeleton. But we can't throw his body into... the fire. No, not at all. Okay, well, in that case... Wait, what are you doing, Cal? Kai? Anna? Alright. So the graves we have are the graves that we have. I'll just build one more grave, so he'll have a place to live again. Bear Bear! Mining compacted steel. Falling steel slag chunk. Why don't you rebuild that grave? Good to know. Kinda sad I can't just burn all those bodies and use the space for something else. I'd have to relocate the bodies, but... You know, whatever. Maybe the graves will eventually be empty. Because the bodies have been in there for so long. Like, some of these skeletons have eventually gone away. Maybe the same thing will happen. For them. For humans. I certainly hope so. Like, part of me wants it to happen, part of me doesn't. I want it to happen because I want to remember that Zachary Quack was the first person we killed and buried. I mean, I think so. I think he was. Perhaps not. Perhaps... That... Well... No, I think he was. Or maybe not. I don't know. Perhaps, I was saying maybe the grave uh, was filled back up. But, I think that's a wrong assumption. Oh god! Mechanoids? Ah, crap. Okay, well... Screw you too, game. Wow. Uh, well, maybe not you guys, but... You guys... Now just be ready. Over here, Andrea, right there. Like, right the fuck there. I mean, you can't, because it won't let me. But, it would be a great spot for you. Uh, McLean! Move on up. Hi! Go there, Johnny boy! Move up. I don't remember where I sent you. I sent you somewhere smart, I'm sure. Doug's moving. Jer Bear. Kind of a... Not a great place for you to be. But you can try to be back there, I guess. Kuro, right there. Eh. Dangerous. Kuro, try and fall back to there, if you can. Hide! Okay. Go there. Do not drop the survival rifle. Go there. Duh! Oh my goodness!
Hide. Hide, hide, hide. Lobster. Just go there. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, lobster, go over here. Doug, get out there and fight. Hero is ready. Hi. Oh my god. Fire! Where? Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Okay. McConnell! Hello, McConnell. Go back there. Lobster! Get over there. Get up there. Oh boy. But you're running that No, no, no. Go this way. Go this way. Out of the line of fire. No, 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 no. This way. Out of the line of fire. Oh my god. Thank you. Andrea. Fall back. Jerry Bear. Fall forward. Andrea, you need to get over there. Stay safe. Let the shots ring true. Jerry Bear. Go there. Go there, Betty! Go there! Oh, that's another fire. Okay. Hey, Toll. Making button-down shirt. You know, I don't think the fight's gonna be over by then. Go ahead and get ready there, Jerry Bear. Durham! Oh, God, Durham! No! Fall back, man. Fall back. Get inside. Ah! Go, minigun! It just, it sounds so good when it fires. Oh, Jer Bear, Still alive. Okay, Durham. Get there. Good job. Can you, you get here? Yeah, go, Doug, go. And goes got nothing. Dominique. Are we close? Doing a lot to him. Oh, God, Doug. Run! <laughs> He's on fire! No! Doug, move! Doug! Doug! Oh god, Doug! Ah! 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 Oh god, no! Doug! Ah! Dominic, you're a maniac! Doug! Go inside! Get in there! Extinguish! Oh god, Joyce! What are you doing? Ah! No! Our geothermal! Fuck, Joyce! Doug, hide! Joyce, hide! Run! Ah! Doug, run! Run! You idiots! No! Rescue him, Joyce! Dang it, Joyce! Toon! Rescue Doug. He's an idiot. So is Joyce. We got him. Okay. Rescue Joyce. Stand down. Go heal. We lost a geothermal. Oh, that's not what we need right now. It's absolutely not what we needed. That's so expensive. All right, get him out of here. Give me the freaking centipede. Add bill, shut down. All right, centipede's dead. Scyther's dead. Centipede, not dead. Shut down. We also need an improv turret. Be set up here. Man. Okay, tune. Are you you're a good doctor, right? Yeah. Treat Andrea. Don't eat food. Treat Jer Bear. I know lobsters in there, but I need you guys to work together. Lobster. No, 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 no. Treat Joyce. There you go. Okay, everyone's getting all treated. Everyone's all taken care of. Man, okay. 
All things. All that out of there. Please. Oh, there's a scyther out there. Oh, because we dumped it out there. Right. I'm like, what the frick? No, no, that makes sense. On a sniper rifle out there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Haul all of that away. Smelt it down. It's not going to be the same, but it'll have to do. We are lucky that turret did not blow. It could have. So could have. So everyone is... Yeah, everyone's good. Okay. Wow. Jair Bear. Delivering... F okay, you're just slightly burned. Yeah, you're fine. There. Jair Bear is back to full health. That was stressful. That was very stressful. Repair that turret, please. I don't want that to just go boom on me. Thank you very much. Right as we were starting to upgrade our defenses, too. But, well, at least it's all done. It's all done now, anyways. Still have a lot of sandstone, right? Uh, you know, some sandstone. I don't know. I don't know. We have some sandstone. I can probably turn this back on. It should be back inside, yeah. And then deconstruct that. Deconstruct that and that and that. And just turn it all into sandstone. All that stuff. Sandstone. I suppose I could just leave that open. I have no reason to block that room off. No real reason. Yeah, the beacon doesn't use it, so it doesn't matter any either way, but... Oh, did you just took out the power conduit? Really? Well, fix that. Thank you very much. And we will then expand the stockpile out just one more. But yeah, there's absolutely no reason why I should have that shut off from the rest of the world if this is just going to be a big stockpile. I mean, why not? Leave it open for everyone to use. Alright, Toon is repairing sandbags. Can you... Who can... Maybe Andrea? Yeah, disassemble. Well... Now, repair the steel wall. Tune. Someone else is doing that. Who's our superstar crafter? Kuro? Look at crafting. Kuro. Yeah, with his 11 skill. Kuro. Kuro. Cooking simple meal. Well, that's important too. Alright. Go down here. Disassemble machine, please. The higher the crafting, I'm assuming, the better resources come out of it. We disassembled some scythers. Now we're disassembling some centipedes. All of them are terrifying. And I'm glad we have a big, big battery bank. Wow. Steel 80. Plus another 55 steel. Plus 50 plastic steel. Wow. Now that's nice. 75 plus 5 plus 55. Yeah. Holy cow. That's handy. That's quite handy. Oh, before I continue and look at what that just was, I need to build a sandstone wall. Right there, and there, and there. Considering it over here. Why not? Because there really is no point. What's up? Oh, finally! We have Addy! Which means we need more beds. We need to build more beds. That's fine. We have a Turk, a vest, a shirt, a duster, and pants. Well. Addy. Your rib is shattered, but you're just going to have to live with that. And... Addy will be number one, number one, three. You're actually kind of a, a decent doctor. 
Not great. Not terrible. A high quality miner. Decent at art. But you can't do any crafts, just art. No hauling, no cleaning. So... I guess I'll put you higher up on the cooking and the growing and repairing. And that'll just have to do for Addy. Now what do we want to do to build more bedding? That is that is the tough question. That's part of the reason why I wanted to knock these out, get all those graves gone, and burn the corpses, is so that we could expand out this way for more housing, although that's not really feasible. Simply on the grounds that we actually filled this up and the hallway ends here, so... We could expand down south, and I think that's what's going to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and... Put in like a, a wood wall. And well, that's what? Seven, eight, nine. We need for two bedrooms. Well, it's not quite wide enough, but we can also uh, circle this hallway around. We can actually hook it up over here. So if we put in. So this is 9, which is enough for, because that's 5, and then another 4. So we need at least, what, 2 more? Something like that. And we can do this. And then the question is, how does this play out? We assume this is a five, so we have one, two, three, four. We can put a wall here. One, two, three, four. We can put a wall here. And then this and this are bedrooms. And we're going to want to change that because we want... We want the halls to connect. At various locations. But we also want the halls to continue because we want to be able to build off of that so I don't want to like I don't want a wall here that that's completely counterproductive I want a wall maybe over here kind of do something like that and then have a one two three four five off of it if we want to do a five here and one two three four so then whoops one one, two, three, four, and then at five, and this is one, two, three, four, five by five. So that's slightly bigger. That's actually just kind of off-centered, which is a pain in the butt. I could narrow this hallway, since it's already kind of narrowed there with the machining workshop. Either narrow it or move the shop, both of which are perfectly acceptable to me. Why don't we narrow it? to here, which puts this wall here. And then we forget about this, and we forget about that, and then we have two 5 by 5s And this is offset a little bit. What we can do is something like this. Cancel that. It gives it a double thick room. Or double thick wall right there, but that's just insulation, ultimately. And a deconstruction over here, because that's totally unnecessary. I'm not a huge fan of the double thick wall. And this narrowing, I, I don't like that, you know, I don't like that narrowing at all. So why don't we go ahead and put a wall in right here, like so. And... For now, I think we're just going to have to leave it at that. What if we go down one? Put that there. Ah, uh, crap. Put that there. The game stuttered again. Like 
this. Make that bigger. The hallway is just awkward. It's just an awkward distance. Kind of frustrating. What am I supposed to do with an awkward distance? Hum. Ho hum. Well, I can do that, make that room bigger, and that squares this whole thing up right here. We'll just have two extra large rooms, basically. And it allows for a little bit more easy mobility of sorts. Or, I can just do this. Cancel that. Drop these down one more. Make this a really big hallway. And maybe throw some hydroponics in here. Possibility right there. I think I like that one the most. It still allows us to keep our wide hallways. Allows a connection between the two hallways down here. And we can possibly do some hydroponics in here. We do need to figure out where we're going to move the machining table to. I don't want to disassemble it until after we've done this, and we have time. We don't really have to use the machining table that often, but I'm thinking we'll go ahead and put it up here. I think what we'll do is we'll go machining table, and we'll put it right here. And that'll just... it'll just fit right into it a little bit more easily. And then we can, do, we can disassemble this machining table, pop in some hydroponics, and call it good with a little bit more power in here. And I wish I could power that directly, but I can't, so I'll do that. And then we also want the openings on the sides. Again, if we're going to fill in the hydroponics in here, we want the openings to be on the sides. So I think that's a good plan going forward. I think that is definitely something that will work. Give us four more places to live. The only problem is we need, really need to figure out what we're going to do about this awkward shape. This 5 and a 4. I mean, I could always just throw in another wall and just have double insulation in here. Which is not a half bad idea, honestly. That way it's a little bit harder to move from, from room to room. But... I don't know. I think I'll probably do that. That looks the nicest to me. So I think that's what's going to happen here. I mean, we're going to tear that down. Probably incorporate this at some point. I mean, this is what? This is a 6 by 5. So it's a little big. We could scale it down a little bit, maybe. And incorporate it that way. I'd also like to see something happening over here. Understanding that this might be an outside wall, we can go 5 right here. This is 5. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4. Right there is our 4. So let me top it off like that. And then we go 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. We can cancel this and we can cancel this. And that's a complete bank, actually. That is a complete bank with a, whoops, with a slightly, slightly elongated dumping stockpile just out to there. I'd like to see a little bit more dumping out here, but honestly, it is a bit of a walk. I'm not overly excited about that bit of a walk. What the, oh, right, right. Trees growing on bodies, of course. So I think that's going to be good. I think this is what we're going to want down in this area. Hunter lacks weapon. Yes, Joyce. I'm aware. You are not the only one that lacks a weapon, Addy. Have the guns been carried away? Not all of them. Are you a good shot? No. You're an absolutely horrendous shot. So... Let's just give you just a, a charge rifle. Whatever. You know, we've, we've got charge rifles. Let's addy. Let's see. Someone else is missing. Doug, you're also missing your charge rifle. 
It's a normal, but it's 48. I think the shoddy is actually a little bit better. 89%. I bet that's actually better. Okay, so Doug, and then the only other one is Joyce. Yeah. Alright, well, that's it for this episode, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time with some more RimWorld. Working our way over to that eventually. DFTBA.